G'day guys, my name's Nick and welcome to my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about four wheel driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your four wheel drive vehicle. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Oricom RGB rock lights to your four wheel drive. So let's get stuck into the install. The first thing we need to do is mount the control unit in a safe spot in the engine bay. Now that my control unit is securely mounted to this wiring harness here, now I'm ready to run my power and earth to my main battery. But before I connect my power and earth to the battery, I'm just going to remove the fuse from the wiring harness. So before I go too much further, I'm just going to put my fuse back into the harness and I'm just going to test that the lights work before I run everything to make sure that all of my wiring is set up correctly before I actually run everything through the car. So that's awesome. Now we know our rock lights work and our wiring harness is connected up correctly. So now we're ready to run all of our wiring and lights to the locations that we want. So these can be used as work lights, camp lights, or rock lights. Now that I've got all of the LED lights mounted underneath the vehicle in the locations that I want, now it's time to run all of the wiring up to the front of the vehicle to the controller. So I'm just going to use the factory fuel lines that run along the chassis as a bit of a guide. So I'm going to run all my wiring up along the chassis there and up into the engine bay. So now I've run all of my wiring up into the engine bay from my rock lights. I'm just going to put a little cut in my firewall grommet down here and I'm going to feed this switch wiring through the firewall and into the vehicle. And now I've got the switch wiring run through the firewall grommet there and into the footwell. Now I'm just going to plug in all of my connectors for my rock lights and tidy up all my wiring. And now I'm going to drill through this little circular blank in the dash here to make a big enough hole for my switch. So I've checked that there's nothing behind here and I'm good to drill. So now I've got this little plastic trim drilled out to 20 millimeters. My switch fits straight into the hole. And now we can connect our wiring on the back and fit this back to the dash. So I've got red on the center wire I've got blue on the bottom, silver terminal, and then I've got the black wire on the top golden terminal there. Now I can just push that back in and fit my trim back to the vehicle and my switch. Perfect. So now I'm all back together. I've tidied up all my wiring and fitted everything correctly. Now it's finally time to test these lights out. So one of the coolest features of the Oricom RGB rock lights and work lights is the fact that you can use the Oricom RGB app to link to the lights. So that means you can change the color of the lights via the use of the app. And you can also change the brightness intensity so it's pretty cool to be able to have that sort of customization with these lights so while you're out camping or full driving you can muck around with the lights put on some music chill out and make a bit of a fun time out of it so you can go through all the different settings strobe light green strobe blue strobe it's pretty damn cool so i'm just going to set these to red for now because i think red looks good and red's easy to see at night and we'll leave it at that so there you go guys, now I've got the Oricom RGB rock lights fitted to my Suzuki Jimny. It's going to give me that extra light I need when I go off-road at night. 
and also give me some great light around underneath the vehicle when I'm camping. So if you'd like to grab some of these rock lights or any other Oricon product, I do have a discount code for 15% off any of Oricon's gear to save you guys some cash. So I'll drop that code down in the description and the comments below. So check it out and save some money. So thanks a lot for watching guys. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more four wheel driving, accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys.